Hi everyone, this is just a quick video just to explain how you would log in to Elvanto to be able to do the check-in process that we use for our Sunday mornings and Sunday evening services. If you don't know where to find Elvanto or you don't know the shortcut on the device you're using, um, you can always go to the church website as you can see here and down on the uh, bottom right hand corner you should find this uh, Elvanto image here. If you just click on Elvato, it'll take you to our sign up or sign in page um, where you can click login and you can see here it's already put my details in but so long as you've got a username and password you can log in there. Uh, by the way if you haven't got a username and password um, just send me a quick email and I can send that to you. Um, so you click login and you're taken to what's called the members area. Now this will look different depending on uh, what your level of access is um, what your your particular role is um, but in terms of doing check-in um, we need to go to the admin area and that's found by going up to where your name is on the right hand side here and you can see the very first thing here in this pop down list is admin area so I click on that and it will take us to our admin area and again this will look very different depending on your level of access but down the left hand side here you'll always see all these options um, uh, and again um, because I, of my admin level uh, I can see all of these options you might just see three or four um, but you should be able to find check-in if you're someone who's involved in this uh, check-in process and if you just click on check-in and from here it loads our check-in page. Now the check-in page um, has three buttons up the top right hand corner here um, if you are on a computer uh, that is connected to a printer. So um, the blue one here, Start Print Station, is what you would choose if you were on a computer and you were needing to set up the printer so that other devices could access it and to do that you just click start print station and you choose a name for the printer depending on where it is um, so in this example I would be in the old church hall and using that printer there so I'd click that it then starts a, a printer page in the background and we go back to our initial page and it's now probably a good time to click self check-in um, which will change the screen so that um, people who are using it um, are not seeing all of your login details but they're just seeing the sign-in screen. Um, so if I leave that on external uh, keyboard that will mean that it's using the keyboard that's plugged into the computer and I say continue to that and you can see that now it's set up ready for people to check in um, on the computer if you're using a, an iPad, um, it's a little bit different. Uh, I'll go back to the login area, um, the admin area I mean. And if you're on an iPad, um, when you came to this page on the iPad, it would have given you the option to choose a printer. Now, that would be why we named the printers um, Old Church Hall or 1, 2 or 3. Um, you would just choose the printer then to which you want to print to and then go to self-check-in on the iPad. So that's the only difference. So on a computer, you choose the Start Print Station and decide which what name you're going to give your printer. And if you're on an iPad, you choose um, just the name of the printer that you're going to be printing to when that pops up on your screen. Um, all right, I hope that's helpful. If you need any um, questions answered, please don't hesitate to ask me.